briefcase, briefs, and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. In a landmark 1986 case, Columbia Pictures Industries, Inc. v. Avico, Inc., the United States Court of Appeals for the Third Circuit examined whether copyright owners had the exclusive right to perform and authorize public performances of their works and if the first sale doctrine could be used as a defense against infringement claims. The lawsuit began when producers of motion pictures sued Avico, a company that rented private viewing rooms along with video cassette rentals. The producers claimed that Avico's business model violated their exclusive rights under the Copyright Act of 1976. Aveco argued that their private viewing rooms were not open to the public. The district court sided with the producers, granting their motion for partial summary judgment and issuing a permanent injunction against Aveco. The key issue in the case was whether Aveco's rental of viewing rooms constituted public performance or authorization of public performance of copyrighted works. The court found that Aveco had indeed infringed on the producers' exclusive rights and issued the permanent injunction. Customers of Aveco could either rent a viewing room and a video cassette for viewing or rent a video cassette for out of store viewing. Ultimately, the court held that Avico's video cassette rentals in public viewing rooms constituted public performances and authorization of the producer's copyrighted movies. Since the first sale doctrine didn't apply to Aveco's rentals of lawfully acquired cassettes, their activities constituted copyright infringement. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit lse.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.